What's going on guys? Welcome. Just doing a quick little live stream here. Wait for everyone to get in here. Then we'll start breaking down some stocks. Appreciate all of y'all that are watching this as a recording or tuning in just now. But thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. I'll wait a little till some people get in here. So we got one person in here. Appreciate it. Let me add everyone in Discord. Everyone. Let me get the link out. Give me one second, guys. There we go. All right. So today, we're going to go over the overall market first. So NASDAQ had a monster rally yesterday, right? And we're, trying, we're getting this uh, cool down. I really want a dip buy right here, guys. If we get a dip buy right here, I'll be perfect on the NASDAQ. SPY, dip buy right here, same scenario. So I'm being patient on that. Now, I am looking at a couple of stocks today as some dip buying opportunities. Um, now, if you're in my membership program, then you know what positions I took today. So, I've been looking at Apple, I've been looking at AMD, and I've been looking at Square. And then I have this other watch list I'm looking at. So, I'm looking at Palantir, Nano, QS, LCA, Blink, and SBE. So, all the big ones right here. So guys, if you want to know my exact like positions when I get inside of them, hop in the Discord, uh, go to the membership program right here. You'll get your free chat. I go live with them every single day after um, market open at nighttime, and they get to know what positions I take. So if you're interested in the membership, just let me know. But let's go ahead and start breaking down some stocks. So I'm going to first break down NEO. We're going to talk about NEO. Just actually uh, post a video about it. So if you're watching that, or if you've already watched it, thank you. But I talked about that as long as we get above 44.73, we are bullish on Neo, and that's exactly what happened, guys. We confirmed it right here on this candle wick right here, and we're about to take off. I think as long as we stay above this, what we're doing right now, we saw a little pop up at the end of the you know session. As long as we continue this, we're going to be doing just fine on Neo. So this is what you wanted to see. You wanted us to hold this level. We found buyers at the support right here, and we've been just pushing up. It's all today pretty much and then we're holding this level so i'm bullish on neo as long as we can hold this 4473 level how many of y'all that are watching are watching neo right now or you're in neo let me know in the uh, chat so let's take a look at xping as well xping same scenario got a video coming out um on this as well as long as we can hold above 4029 I'm completely fine on X-Ping. As long as we can hold above 40.29, I am fine on X-Ping. So we got that dip by this morning. We hit lows of 37.52. So I thought we were actually heading back down to 35.93, but we didn't. And then we're just continuing. As long as we can hold above 40.29, guys, we are bullish on X-Ping. What's up, GS? Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for everyone tuning in, guys. Um, Thank you. Let me know if y'all are what what stocks y'all are watching today, so we can get some interaction in here. So on my watch list, I'm watching SQ really heavy. I did take an entry on this. Um, I let my membership know when I took an entry. So we have our own private chat here, and I think I took it. I can't remember when, but I took I took uh, SQ and Arc today. So if you want to know when I get into stocks and my exact entry. Go ahead and join my membership program. Only $10.99 a month. You can either join through my PayPal or my website. But they know my exact entry. So if y'all wanna be if y'all wanna be a part of that, then just let me know. So Tesla. Oh yeah, Tesla's also a good one as well. So Tesla, it fell below support, and now we're testing it from the underside, guys. So if you're in Tesla right now, if you're bullish on Tesla, we need to get above 665. I talked about this in my Tesla video previously as well. SBE looking good. Oh, thank you for bringing that up, uh, GS. I am actually in SB as well. SBE as well. So SBE literally held my support right here. Held my support at forty dollars. I had a support here at forty dollars. We held it, and we're staying above it as long as we can hold forty dollars on SBE, guys. We are going to be doing completely fine. Debating between SBE and Twist. What's up, Doctor? Glad to have you here, man. Twist. Let's take a look at Twist. That's actually a new one. So twist, 
we have a strong support right here at 135.81. So we bounce that support and we have a strong resistance. Let's see. This one's actually hard because we, we had this huge sell off today. So, uh, Doctor, what happened? What happened with this where we had this sell off? Uh, you said, are you a full time investor? Yes. Uh, Pua, is that how you pronounce your name? I, um, I do this for a living. So let me take a look at the one hour. Yeah, so we had this aggressive sell-off today, doctor. And this came out of nowhere. So this was right at market open, right? Or was this yesterday? So this is probably right at market open. But we have a strong resistance line right here at 151. Nice, okay. Pua, sorry, I pronounced it right. Okay, yeah. I did this I do this for a career, Pua. I see you. In, you're in the Discord, right, bud? Um, Baba, any good entry today? I'll get. I'll get to that GS. I don't know if it's an Arc G stock. It has good fundamentals for. Is this why? Is this why the Arc G sold off so much today? But I like it. I like this area right here. As long as we hold this area at 135.81, I'm fine on this one, Doctor. So, you might want to get a call right now, and then have your stop loss right underneath support. So. So if you if you hold this level, if it dips below 134, I'd cut it. That would be a tight stop loss on this one. Now take a look at Baba for GS. Thanks, man. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Oh my goodness. So we broke above we broke above this level right here. So this was the level I was watching at. As long as we hold above this level, then I'm completely fine. So GS, maybe a retest. So maybe a retest for this level. So yeah, a retest to this level right here is going to be completely fine for me. But other than that, um, what else are y'all watching? No problem, GS. Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate it. What other stocks are y'all watching, guys? The ones that are tuning in. This is just a pretty chill stream. Can we talk about Neo? Sure, man. Sure. So, uh, with Neo Pua, so what I'm looking for is us to hold on 4473 as long as we can hold on 4473 i'm completely fine with neo right we've been doing this perfectly as long as we can hold on this level we're doing fine that was the main level i was talking about and we're holding it so as long as we can hold that level i'm completely fine so i don't want us getting below this level though right here this was a strong level and i don't want us getting below that Are y'all in Neo? How many are y'all in Neo in here that are watching the stream right now? How many are y'all in Neo? Poor, are you in Neo? I know we got a couple from the uh, from the group chat that are in Neo right now. You are okay. What's your entry? What was y'all's entry? Just let me know, guys. GS, you're in Neo too. DD, you have 403 of Neo. Nice. Okay. Let me know what was y'all's entry. What what y'all what price did y'all get in at? At 28. Okay. You have a really good average. Then. Nice. Thank you for everyone tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. 39,150. Okay. Got you. All right. Oh, how many of y'all watching at, uh, Blink? Are, y are any of y'all watching Blink as well? I got Neo at 42. Okay. Are any, is anyone watching Blink? I'm watching Blink as well. 
This is another one I'm watching, guys. So I really want to blink right here at 38.68. I didn't get that pullback. Maybe we'll see it tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? But I really like blink at 38.68. Hoping it has potential to get to $100 in 2021. Hopefully, Neo is the strongest one out of the uh, other Chinese EV stocks. Neo is raining blood. LA, yeah, Neo's been on a uh, downtrend recently, but I talked about a key level that it was holding, so it's holding that level pretty nicely. As long as we hold 4473, guys, that's the number you need to like keep in your head. 4473 on Neo. As long as we stay above that, we're fine. Um, is Blink a buy right now? D D D. Um I'm waiting for 3868. That's where I'm buying at. But if you want to know my exact entries, uh, I do offer that in my membership program. It's join my free Discord server, and then you can look at the membership tab and inquire about that. Especially with the news of the new battery pack. Yeah, definitely. So, And they also, they're adding 100 new charging stations, guys. I don't know if y'all saw that news, but they're adding 100 new charging stations in China. That's a lot. So you know if they are adding 100 more, you know they're expanding. So, good news for Neo coming. I think we're just in a little rut right here, but as long as we hold 4473 and Neo Day is right here. So this long vertical line is right here on Neo Day for me. So I, I charted this out for you guys just so you can see a visual of how many more candles we got till Neo Day. Just picked up 300 shares of Neo. Let's go. What's up, man? Glad to have you here. Thank you for watching the stream. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you. Uh, what was your entry at, Shu? Curious to see where you got in at. Did you get the morning dip or did you add on up here? Labebe, uh, he said, what taxes? Um, uh, taxes for trading. When you buy and sell, if it's not a... If it's not um, within, it's just, if it's shorter than a year, you have to pay uh, a higher tax than long-term capital gains. You have to pay taxes on all of your uh, buying and selling of stock, by the way. What do you think you'll be on Neo Day and what actually is Neo Day? So, Neo Day is where they showcase their new um, cars and stuff like that. So, I think someone just said that, 25,000 sedan. So, they're showcasing that on Neo Day. So, they're coming out with their first sedan. It's going to be a four-door. It's just going to be like, you know, Tesla's four doors. So this is going to be their first sedan ever. And that's why there's so much hype around Neo Day right now. Because it's going to be a new car entering the market in China. So more sales because more people are most likely to buy a sedan because it's cheaper than an SUV type car like they have right now. 25000 That's pretty com That's pretty good rate compared to other new gasoline cars, right? And it's electric vehicle too as well. You got forty three dollar. You got it at forty three. Nice, nice. They're they're announcing it January 9th, but I'm not sure when it's going to um when it's actually going to be released. Probably I still expect early twenty twenty one. You said, hey, is there any chance you can do a quick Palantir analysis? Sure. So I was actually in Palantir, about to cut my losses. I got in that support right here, twenty five forty five, twenty five fifty. It fell below, so I cut it. Next area I'm looking for Pelantir to hold, if it's going to hold an area, is right here at 2429. So, if you want Pelantir to hold, then we need to hold this area at 2429. I got an X-Ping at 39 and had 190. Is that good? Um, Let's see what X-Ping is doing. If you got in at 39, you're up right now. As long as we hold 40.29, then we should be good. As long as we hold 40.29. Uh, LA, they're announcing their 25k car. I don't know if for, I don't know if they're if it's for sale that day or the day after, but they're announcing it. If someone gave you a new EV, would it, you like a Tesla or new Tesla? <laughs> I'm a Tesla fanboy. Um, hopefully we can get that 150 kilowatt battery. Yeah, for sure. Would you prefer Mercedes or Ford? Depends. No problem. Thanks for being here. I would opt out for the Neo since I'm here in the States. Can you imagine all the hype it would get? Oh, yeah. That's also a good point, too, as well. That's also a good point. 
So, that's a good point. OMG X Ping, Volvo. <laughs> we have a Volvo fan here? Or no? Or you don't like Volvo? Oh, it looks like you don't like. Do you not like Volvo? <laughs> didn't they have a. Didn't their EV suck? Is that. Was that. I think I read something about that. Their EV car. Or their EV uh, was terrible. Or am I wrong? Was I misreading something? Also, thank you for everyone new tuning in. Um, thank you. Appreciate y'all being here. And for those that are not watching, if you're not in my free Discord server, go ahead and hop in. We literally chat during market open. I know a lot of y'all are probably in here from the Discord server, but go ahead and join the uh, free Discord server. Link in the description below. We'll be glad to have you. Oh, you like it? Oh, okay. Xping has a heartbeat. <laughs> well, as long as we can hold above 4029 for Xping, it will be completely fine. But if we get below that, guys, we might be heading back down to this 35.93 range. So that's what I have charted out here, 35.93. So if we get below that, if we get below this support again, I'm pretty sure we might head back down to the $36 range. I mean, the overall market was kind of mm, today. I mean, there's a lot of dip buying opportunities. Lex, thanks for sharing. It's my first time here. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of all of y'all tuning in, guys. I know it's a uh, mid market stream, so kind of late notice, but thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. And if y'all uh, have any stocks you want me to talk about, just let me know. Is Neo down? In no, I don't. No, that's um, X Ping we were looking at. This is Neo's chart. Oops. So this is X Ping's chart. Or sorry, this is Neo's chart. That was X Ping's chart. So Neo, the area I was talking about that it needs to hold was 44.73. It did exactly that. And as long as we can hold this level right here, guys, we're completely fine on Neo. I'm sure Alibaba bouncing back had a lot to do with X Ping move upwards. Rumor says that Neo's going to. Yeah, GS, I read that too. Tenzin, how is Facebook's puts looking for at the end of the year? Um, well, if you're in puts, that means you are wanting to go down. So a resistance line is right here at 280. So you want to see it get rejected underneath this right here. So if you're in puts, you want this obviously to go down. So you don't want it breaking 280. If we go above 280, I would cut loss. Neo will reach 60 by next week. Be careful with the sell-off after Neo Day. Will Neo... Yeah, if it's like an earnings play, it will sell off after Neo did. Will Neo ever be 50 again? Most likely, Oxy. They will enter the market in 2021. The European market, right, guys? No problem, Tenzin. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the new viewers out here, guys. I know we just got quite a few to come in right now. Um, so for all those new ones that came in, guys, if you haven't, make sure to join the free Discord server so after I get done streaming, y'all can literally come in here and we can talk about the market while it's still open. And then any of y'all, if you like the structure of how this live stream is going, I do this every single night before market open for my membership group. Only $10.99 a month. Hop in here. They get to know my place. So whenever I take an entry, I tell them my entry and I live stream for them just like this right here. So if y'all like the structure of the live stream, just, uh, consider the membership as well. What's everyone expect to share for Neo 2021? Well, so I got... Well, the way I uh, trade is I look at several levels, right? So if we get above um, 4937, if we can, you know, hold this level at 4473 and hold this level and start pushing up, I think if we get up to this level, we're going to blast through it and then start heading to 5277. So that's my next uh, strong resistance. Now, if we get above 5277, then we're at all time highs again. So that's what I'm thinking for next year. So first, we have to get through several levels, though. So when you're charting out or you're looking at a stock, you have to find the levels where buyers and sellers are at, and then find the story and look at the areas where it's got rejected previously and look at the areas where it's found support. So all these levels are where it got rejected. Thanks for the live stream. Much appreciated, Los Angeles. No problem, Six. Thank you for being here, man. I, I see all your comments on my videos. Thanks for all the support. You're, you're a regular viewer. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. It means a lot. 
X ping the same scenario, guys. So as long as X ping can just continue holding this level right here, I'll be completely fine. As long as it can hold 4029, we're doing just fine on X ping. But I like Neo, I do, I like to say Neo is my favorite. Good entry point for SBE. Leia, what's up? Thank you for being here. I'm a buyer, or I would look to add on to SBE actually at this level right here. At the $40 mark. Notice how we bounced here. We bounced here multiple times before. So if you wanted to get in, the $40 mark would have been a good entry. But if we sell off, then the $37.22 mark. I can only see Neo going up, especially with the competition as Tesla currently around 700 Neos 45. It can go up surely. <laughs> yeah, Tesla is getting up there. You gotta think about it though. Tesla is expanding into way more markets than Neo as well. Neo is just starting out. So that's why I think Tesla's uh, valued more than Neo because it's been around for, you know, a little longer. And they're expanding to more markets. Neo has the Chinese government in their back. Yeah. They do. That's true as well. But I don't, um. That is just, yeah, that is a good point. SB is going to be a monster once. The yeah, shoe. We were, like, literally, that's what we've been talking about in the Discord. We were talking about the mergers happening, uh, January 15th, and everyone, all of the members, um, in my membership, they're, we're all crazy about SB. You can ask GS and Dr. H. They're part of the membership. We literally talk about SBE every single day. It's a good one. It's been on our watch list. I actually been watching SBE since right here. And one Sunday or night for the members live stream, I charted out this. And I talked about how it was going to break out. And I didn't take the play. And the next day, I think it was literally last week, we broke out. So I missed my entry over, way back here. So I, we've been following SBE way back since the 36 range. Neo has a few downsides to include possible delisting. Um, I don't think the delisting is going to happen. I made several videos about that, talking about that um, for it to actually happen, they would have to fail an audit three years in a row, or they would have to fail to comply with an audit three years in a row. And I don't see Neo doing that. Chinese gets more perks if the if they buy Chinese EV. Okay, so they get like tax breaks or something, kind of like we do in the United States. Do you think SBE will bounce back short term? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, it's bouncing right now. I had this 40 area charted out. That's why I was looking. So I bought in a little bit up here, and then I added on the forty dollar mark. And I'm gonna add on each time. So if it falls again, thirty seven twenty two, I'm a long term investor for SBE. But I wish, I really wish, I would have got in back here when I was talking about it with my membership. But I didn't. So now I'm waiting for a better pullback to add even more. PJ, what's up, my man? How's Neil doing? Neil's doing good today. I talked about that. As long as it holds this level right here at 44.73, we are bullish. New average 44.63. You have how? You have a thousand hundred and ten shares. Wow. Well, as long as we hold 44.73, Mary, we are doing fine. My favorite two SPAC plays are SP. Yeah, is APXT is it acquiring a point right? I'm think. Yeah, it's acquiring a point. So here's my chart for a point. Thanks. Appreciate you being here, R. Cole. R. Cole, if you like this style, um, like I said, I live stream with my membership every single night. So if you want to join that, we'd be more than happy to have you here. Oh, you said A point? Okay. Got you. Yeah, I like A point. A point is like a uh, is like a Pelantier stock, except they have a lot more clients and they are dealing with Microsoft. So I did some research on A point. So I like a dip buy right here. We actually did get that today. Wow. I missed out on this one. This was my dip buying opportunity at 1509. Because it was a strong resistance before. And now it's acting as a support. But wow. I like this one. I do like 8 point though. Does anyone know when the mergers happen here? PJ, you said I bought XP and LI Auto on the dip. Nice PJ. Well, I hope they recover for you. What's up, Prompt? Glad to have you here. Glad to have everyone here. Thank you. So yeah, so I really like it. Let's see. What else are y'all watching? Q1 hopefully. Q1 hopefully we'll get a solid date next month. Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, so we will know by Q1. Is open a good hold? Um, well, let's take a look at it, guys. Open. Oh, I I broke this down for one of my members as well. I said wait this one out. Um, be careful with this one. It just IPO, so there's not too much data to go off of. And these are the levels I'm watching. The $23 mark, so I'll be waiting for a pullback down here. Can you explain the dip buy? The dip buy is like, let me show you. So, notice how we fell down here? This is called a dip, because then we recovered. So, if you a, a dip is basically where you push down and then you recover. So that's that's when, when we say we buy the dip. That means we, we buy the area where it fell down to. Waiting for Pelantier to go up. PJ, yeah, I actually tagged out of Pelantier. I sold my position because I was trading it, so I wasn't in it for the long term. I was just trading it. Let me show you what happened for that. You watched the wrong stop from me. I'm sorry, J, uh, GS. <laughs> I'm sorry, my man. But Pelantier, I was talking about right here at 25, 45 was my entry. I cut it, and then I'm looking for it to hold 24, 29. But we are getting some buying activity right here. So as long as we can hold 24, 20, 29, y'all should be good. No problem, uh, the real bot man. Thank you for being here. Do you mind asking how much you have into NEO? I actually sold my position a couple of days ago. I had only 100 shares in it, though. Melo, no problem. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for everyone that's tuning in right now. Appreciate y'all here. Let me look at my positions right now. Let me see. I'll read y'all my positions, but like I said, I normally just do this for my membership group. I let them know what I'm in. So right now, guys, I'm in AMD, ARC, G, ARC, Blink, NNDM, SBE, and SQ. So guys, if you want to know my positions, like every single day when I get in my entries, join my membership. So first, join the free Discord, then you can find the instructions for my membership program. Dip buy is when you have twenty dollars in your pocket and you're going to, to a thrift shop. <laughs> nice, nice analogy, Doctor HJ. Thoughts on ARCT? Well, let's take a look at it. ARCT. Well, something happened here, so we literally gapped down from ninety-two dollars to all the way. I wouldn't touch this one. Not yet, at least. But we know we do have some support right here. 42.12 and then we have a resistance here at 55.83 so we're not bullish until we get above 55.83 but some bad news had to happen does anyone have any ideas on who Apple is going with the EV club I know they're using QS for the batteries if that's what you mean is it good to low up on AMD now because I'm about to well let's take a look at AMD as long as the whole support at 89.29 it literally found buyers at my magical purple line and turned it out. And then as long as we hold this line, we're good. We know buyers are here because it dipped to here this morning and buyers came in. QS, yeah, what GS said. Um, they're partnering up with QS for the battery. So here's QS. Here's my chart for QS. Uh, I have a strong support here at 95.27. As long as we hold that, we're doing just fine. We are down a lot today, though, on QS. My square position just turned green though, so that's a plus. I got in square. Where did I get in square? I think I got in square at 212. I can't remember the exact entry, but it was at 212 or something, so it just turned green. I have shares for this one. Don't have any calls. Anyone else playing any other things today? Let me know. Thank you all for tuning in here though. Appreciate it. We have 28 people in here. Thank you so much. We actually have 31, never mind. 31, thank you. Am I a millionaire? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> uh, SBE moving should have got in. Oh, is it? Let's check it. PJ, no. Uh, apparently Thursday is full day too. Someone told me that. So Friday is the only day we have off. Look, guys, literally, hold my yellow line right here. Support. We knew this held. That's why we got that bounce. It held right here, and then we found buyers here. So you know that this is the support line indeed because we confirmed it. So it looks like SBE is coming back. 
yeah, so Friday is um, closed. Someone told me that Thursday actually isn't half a day. I thought it was half a day, but apparently I was wrong on that. So it's actually... Um, it's actually Friday that's the, the day we're closed. No problem. Thank you for being here. We got 33 people in here. Nice, guys. All the new people just tuned in. What's up? Hope you're having an amazing trading day. Let me know what y'all are in right now. I'm watching several things. Watching Blink, SBE, Pelantir. Ooh, okay. Who's in? I need to bring this up. Who's in Nano? Who's in Nano right now? How many people in this chat are in Nano? Because something, some news is happening. It's happening tomorrow. Do I have a price target on LCA before name change? Um, not really. But we did hold this support right here. As long as we hold this twenty four seventy two, um, we're good on this one. Okay. So, Nano. Okay. Listen up, guys. We got some news happening on Nano tomorrow. So tomorrow, Nano is doing a share offering. So that means they're adding shares to their float, meaning that. It's going to be diluted, so that's going to be a negative reaction to begin with, just for the short term. So Tesla did this. Remember when Tesla had their $5 billion, $5 billion uh, share offering? The same thing's happening with Nano. They're having a share offering, so they're adding shares to raise capital. Now, this is initially a bearish thing because they're adding more shares, so it's not worth as much. But over the long term, this is completely fine. Neo did the same thing. Xping did the same thing as well. So this is happening tomorrow, guys. They're selling those shares, so expect some type of drop tomorrow. So Nano is going to be a dip buying opportunity tomorrow. So if you got out of it, then consider getting back in after the sell-off tomorrow. So I just want to bring that to everyone's attention that's watching Nano or in Nano right now. Now I'm in Nano still. I'm going to ride this down and I'm going to add more. So I have a small position. I have 150 shares of Nano right now. I'm going to add on another 150 after this dip. Just because I like this company. So I'm going long on this company. But now it's a couple levels I'm watching though this first level 820 I think it's gonna blow right through that and honestly I think it's gonna be coming back down to 733. That's where I think it's coming to. But who knows? The share offering can go either way. So we'll have to see how big this sell-off is gonna be. But ARC's actually in this as well. Volkswagen owns part of QS and Neo is partially owned by the same company as Volkswagen. This means when Q QS ships Put solid state battery tech, Neo will receive it in the whole world. Nice. So it looks like QS is going to be um, banging. Nice. Okay. I can't wait for Neo today. Same. That's going to be really exciting. I, I can't wait either. I'm looking to get back in the Neo though. I sold off my position. So, so I'm, I'm in a lot of things right now. So I was trying to trim off some positions that I really didn't have to be in. Um, so Neo was one of them. But I should have bought right here because it held. But I didn't today. Thank you all for tuning in, guys. Thank you. We have 32 viewers in here. Uh, go ahead and like the video, guys. We have 31 people in here, only 9 likes. Get those likes up, guys. <laughs> I'm holding a small position on FSR. I'm thinking of selling. FSR, I've broken that one down a couple times. So FSR, it broke through this intraday support I was talking about. I broke this down for my members last night. So if you want daily breakdowns, join that membership because I literally brought this one down and I talked about that if we got below the support, we're bu or we're, bear uh, we're bearish tomorrow and that's exactly what happened, guys. We fell down and I'm looking for a buying opportunity right here at 14.59. So if you want these live streams like this every single night, join the membership. It's in the description below and you can also join my free Discord and then the instructions are in that free Discord. But I broke this one down and this one's probably heading back down to 14.59. What is going? What is your price target for LCA? All right, got you. LCA. So as long as we hold the support right here at twenty four seventy two, which we did, we confirmed it twice today, right here in the beginning of the morning and now in the afternoon. As long as we hold twenty four seventy two, then we'll keep it rocking and rolling. I don't have an exact price target. I just look at these levels. It's really hard to get a price target when something hit all time highs. Quantum computing is a force to reckon with and will lead tech in four years. 
I haven't heard. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so this one had some news. So we had a bunch of sellers here at twenty-five dollars, and then we had a, a support here right here at nine oh six. So I want it hold nine oh six. Then we have a resistance line right here. Let's see that we need to get above. We'll have some trouble getting above right here at twelve dollars, basically. So. We're in this range right now. We need to get above $12 to be bullish again. But if you're looking to hold this long term, there's no problem just holding it for four years like you were talking about. Spring, thank you for bringing that up. Any idea why I can't sell my NEO? What's wrong? Are you doing a, are you trying to, are you doing a limit order? If you're doing a limit order, that means it's not in that price range. Do a market order if you want to get filled. Beacon, any stocks worth buying now? It all depends on your style. What's, what sector do you like? Whole Neo, Gemma, and Pelletier. Those are all three good stocks. So you're doing just fine. I like QS as well. Thank you, Spring. Thank you for being here, man. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for all tuning in. Appreciate all of y'all here. Thank you for sharing your ideas and all that. I like this community where we can... I can go live and you know, just, we just talk about stocks. Thank you. Power hours almost among us, guys. I will look up QS. No problem, man. Also, SBE and Blink. So this is my watch list that I'm looking at right now. I'm in this stock, this stock, and this stock. So I'm in three of these. So what are you guys in? Let me know what y'all guys are holding, guys. I know a lot of y'all are holding Neo, though. A lot of y'all, the, the people that watch my videos, y'all are holding Neo. Oh, yeah. Thank you for getting those likes up, guys. And we have now have 17 likes. What about the Very Good Food Company? The Very Good Food Company. Let's see. So we have a strong support right here at 6640, or no, sorry, 664. Wouldn't want it breaking that. And then we have a strong resistance line right here at $7.54. So right now would be an area that I would be buying at. You're in, in India, same man. Remember we have that share offering tomorrow though, so expect to sell off tomorrow. Mara, I know doc doctors, he, he's in the uh, membership program. He's been talking about Mara a lot. So we got below the support though uh, today, Doctor. Talked about that on our last night's stream. And then I had a support line right here. So as long as we get back above this one at, what's this level right here? At 12.22, then we are bullish. Mac, uh, sorry, Mike, you're in Neo, heavy on Neo. Awesome, man. What's your av average? Are you in it for long term or what? Yeah, we're going to have another NNDM sell-off tomorrow, most likely. And the reason is, I was talking about, if you missed it, we're having a share offering tomorrow. So, that's where we are. They're adding more shares to their float to gain capital. And that's a bearish reaction to begin with, because they're adding more to the float, so their shares are coming less valuable. Mary, um, you said, what time is your nightly live discussion? Okay, I'll explain that. So, if you join the membership, it's ten ninety nine a month. I have it every night, ten p.m. Eastern. It's just like this structure right here. They call out the stocks they want to. We break down like just like you're arguing. I break them down. But it, for the ones that miss it, I upload it for them as well. So every time I stream, I upload it so you can rewatch it. So join my free Discord, and then the links are right here underneath the membership tab. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate it. Um. You've been spot on with Eli and Neil. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Do you think QS will keep going down? Or is it? I think it's a correction beacon. It's a good company. Mary, you said you're joining today. Okay, if you're joining today, um, join my free Discord. So it's the link in the description below. Once you join the Discord, then you can click the membership tab and join. Either that or you can uh, go to my website in the description as well. And in the stock offering again, yeah, Matt, Mike, they're doing one. 
So raising more capital. So it's going to be a bearish reaction tomorrow, definitely. Edwin, what do you think about LI Auto right now? Is it bullish? Um, well, let's take a look. Look, literally found support. Who watched my LI Auto, Auto video two days ago? Who watched it? Because if you did, you would have literally got an entry right here at 2640, and you'd be up right now. I hope some of y'all watch this, but I talked about that if we broke below this support right here, then we were heading back down to 2640. We literally touched this to the T. Is this what you were talking about, uh, Edwin? We literally touched this level to the T, and we bounced from there. So that's what I wanted to see. So thank you for watching that video. It's tempting to buy it today. How long are you planning to hold it? QS. Um, Beacon, if you want a cheaper version of QS, they don't have it on TradingView like you can't chart it. But it's called QS slash, the slash sign, WS. So look that up on your brokerage. It's like a warrant of QS. It's like $40, $35 or whatever. It's a cheaper version, but it follows QS to the exact T. So if you don't want to spend $100 per share and you just want to spend like $35 per share, so join that one. So join QSWS. Leaving stock mode Discord, join yours. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Yeah, stock mode doesn't do technical analysis like me. He's a, he's a more, um, what's the what's the word for it? Talk about it and speculation. He just throws out random numbers like hundred dollars by twenty twenty one. Guys, if someone's telling you that and they don't show you a chart, do not believe them. Like, why would someone say a hundred dollars in twenty twenty one but then not show you a chart to back it up? That's just my opinion on that. So if you're watching a YouTuber that's talking about the stock market, if you want to believe what they're saying. Just make sure that they're showing you charts, right? Because anyone can say Neo to two hundred dollars. Any, I could say Neo to a thousand. That don't mean it's going to happen. You got to look at the charts. How much is for your premium membership, Mike? It's only ten ninety nine a month, right? So you get the private chat, you get the private live streams like this every single night. Only ten ninety nine a month. Join my free Discord, and then you can get the link, and the link is right here. You can either pay through uh, PayPal or my website markettrenders.com. It's the middle option. So I have all the links in the description in this live stream. So go ahead and join that and then you can be a part of the crew. Switchback is going to run another SPAC merger with ChargePoint. Oh, nice. Really? Okay. I didn't know that. Thank you for bringing that up, Springtrap. Stock mode got everyone full 100k subs though. He's got like 200 now. I guess crazy. Hold on. Let's go, look, let's go pull up his channel while we're on stream, guys. Stock mo he has 246,000 I watched one of his videos the other day and he doesn't show any chart whatsoever all he does is, is all all he does is talk he doesn't show a single chart I don't know if y'all watch but he doesn't show a single chart in any of his videos I couldn't trust someone that didn't have a you know technical reason why he's saying where it's going to go but I don't know, that's just my opinion. I don't know if y'all feel the same way. I like, I don't like gambling. So I chart levels out and do it that way. Sorry for my dogs in the background, guys. <laughs> I have two puppies, just got them. Keep doing what you're doing and you will blow past them. Thank you, Edwin. Don't forget his cat. Oh, he has a cat or something that he has in his videos. I just got two puppies, by the way, guys. That's what y'all heard in the background. They're very playful. Square. Oh yeah, y'all just tuned in right now. I did take a position in Square earlier today. I got 37 people in here. Nice guys. We got 22 likes. Thank you for getting them likes. I appreciate it. 38 now. So if you're just tuning in, thank you for being here. Do y'all like me uh, streaming during market open? Do y'all like that? Let me pull this out of the way. I can do this more often for you guys. So if I do this, it'll be like once or twice a week, maybe. Stream during market open and break down these stocks for you like this. Workhorse. Mike, you like that? Okay, Mike. I know you talked about joining the membership, man. So if you want to join the membership as well, you get a live stream every single night before market open. So you get five a week each night. So that's private too as well. Workhorse. Oh, let's look, look at workhorse. So workhorse, it got above my resistance line, 
we tried to hold it, but we came screaming down. So I'll be a buyer at Workhorse at 1922, but Workhorse it Workhorse is not going to move until the contract news comes out again. So we're literally going to stay in this range probably until whenever the contract is finalized or done. If they are the winner, that is. If they're not the winner, this thing is going to probably plummet some more. But we're just going. We're really going to stay like this pretty much until the contract news. But I do like what Workhorse is doing, so I do hope they get the contract. See what the overall market's doing. Not a whole lot of anything. They just got five chucks with IKEA. Oh, okay. Nice. Any love for Workhorse Little Brother? Ride. Oh, you mean go over ride? That's been popular within my members group as well. Look at right here. Look where we're look where we're holding at. I'm telling you guys, once you get down charting and like technical analysis, it's gonna be your friend. Like it's so easy once you're able to read charts. Look, we held this area, my purple line, 2096. We held this area, we bounced. We bounced here and here. So I this is these are the types of plays where I like getting in at. I like taking entries at support, have my stop loss fairly tight. You can go in really heavy and then sell at resistance line. So we, we found support here once here, and now we confirmed it again. So our next resistance line is right here at 2340, but we need to start heading back up to that. If we fall below, then we're heading to 1903. Do you think Neil, uh, Lee Auto will dip tomorrow, Thursday due to short trading week? Um, I don't know. As long as, long as we hold these levels I've been talking about, 4473 on Neo and on Lee Auto, as long as we hold... 2640 then you don't have to worry about them do you have an opinion on tfs oh mary that's a great question you read my mind i literally took a position on arc g today so i told that to the membership group uh ball in where was it my entry was like here at 93 dollars so i got it at 93 i missed i missed the dip by on 9047 like i i chart these stocks out for the members and i forget about them and then I look back and because someone mentions it and then it literally hits my level and then bounces up. So I wish I would have got in at 9047 because I charred this area out. This is where I wanted to buy it. But I, there's so many stocks that I forget about it. But Arc G, I am a buyer in. So thank you for bringing that up, Mary. And also Arc as well. I love um, Kathy. I love Kathy Woods. She's the founder of Arc and she, she just has amazing philosophy on, you know, different things. She's really bullish on Tesla. And Bitcoin. She's bullish on Bitcoin as well. Arc, same scenario. We found buyers at my support level. And right now, hopefully, we do get back an uptrend. Ah, uh, man, I stole my Intel. Oh, didn't I get a push-up today? I saw that somewhere. You sold it yesterday? Oh, that's unfortunate, doctor. I'm sorry to hear that, my man. But it had the breakout, it looked like. Sorry, I charted this one the other day. But we broke above my resistance, so that's this is one of those breakout plays. So you know when a breakout's going to happen because you have a huge amount of volume. Notice how right here we have a low amount of volume. We were right up at resistance. We had that volume, and we needed that volume to push through, and that's exactly what happened. 85% on calls today? Ooh. That's what it would have been, doctor, if you would have held through it? You would have been up 85%? All right, guys, I'm going to be uh, wrapping this uh, stream up in 10 minutes. So, got 10 more minutes. Been on it for about almost an hour now. So, if y'all want to continue this conversation, please join my free Discord, guys. We can continue talking about the stock market. It's literally right below the stream in the description below. And then you can join my membership uh, once you get in the free Discord. You can follow the instructions. But thank you all for being here, guys. I know it's a Tuesday afternoon. Thank you all. We had 40 people here at once. We have 33 right now. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate breaking down all these stocks. Um, I'm coming out with an X-Ping video later on, so be in tune for that as well. IMMR, you may do that. Okay, so I broke this down for someone. John, as long as we... Look, so I'm looking for a dip by here at 12.07 for this one. It had this amazing push-up. Now, if you want an intraday pullback... Oh, we just shot up again. It's 
going right now. So I'm looking for an entry day uh, pullback down to 1306 if you want to get right here. But they were pullback at these areas. No problem, Mello. No problem, Mary. No problem, GS. Appreciate all, all of y'all being here today. Thank you. Like I said, I'd love to see all of y'all in the free Discord. We can continue chatting, you know, after the stream. And then for all those ones that want the private streams, consider the membership, guys. I'd be more than happy to have each and one of y'all in there. Uh, Beacon, it, that's why you, uh, I use stop losses. So I'll have my stop losses in play. And do the right stop for me. Evolution Gaming. Which one is it? EVO? Is it this one? I thought I did this one yesterday, GS. Is this was this the wrong one? Or is it I mean I thought I tried this one out. Or did I not? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, GS. I'll do this one for you real quick. So 816 is a strong support. Um we have a strong resistance right here at 8:30. We have a bunch of uh, sellers up here. Now, if we get below 8:16, then I'd be looking for a dip buying opportunity. Let's see. Right here at 7:97. By the way, guys, GS he's in the membership program, so if you join the Discord, you can ask him a question as well about it and see from his perspective. But here you go, GS. Sorry for choosing the wrong one last night, but thank you for being patient, man. Thank you. Thank you, Beacon. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, John. No problem. Thank you for all being here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this stream up. Um, once again, i like to see all of y'all in the free Discord. Then for those that are ready, go ahead and join my membership as well because then you get these free, uh, sorry, not free, but these private live streams every single night like this. So if you liked how this structure was and you liked me breaking down your stocks and charting them out on stream, consider the membership, guys. And you also get to know when I get in stocks, you get to know my entries as well. I let the group know, hey, I'm taking SQ right now or whatever. But anyways, guys, thank you all for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing all of y'all in the free Discord uh, to continue this chat. So I'll see you all later.